Hey guys, Ray here from Two Gaming Girls, and I'm back. We're over at our Swan Fountain, our Swan Park that it's turning into, and we're going to try to finish that up today. I'm feeling a little under the weather, but we're going to try to power through and get this done. So thank you to everyone that kind of voted uh, on Twitter, uh, Twitter, on Twitter. Um, you guys voted on this design here uh, for the wall surrounding the park. I then tried to take that design and kind of flow it into an archway. I hid some lights in this level right up in here on the third level on both sides so that, you know, you could kind of see at night. And then I did a smaller version of that on these sides that are a little bit further out. So yeah, we've made a lot of progress. Um, I think I need to come in. I think um, people commented that they like the grass on this one. So I think I will sprinkle some grass and a few more places under some of the trees. Uh, but the big thing we're going to work on today to finish this up is this outside section uh, over here on either of the smaller entrances. So my thought is um, to kind of follow this curve that we have going on here and with the tree line and do a tree here. So one here and one here on all four of these little corners so that we'll get a nice little circle of trees. Um, I'm going to do that first and then I'll cut back in and show you that and the last that we'll be figuring out what we do with these corners. Actually that won't be, well yeah that will be the last step but there'll be a step in between which is I think in these little nooks on the inside there might be room for some greenery. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, let's get started. <laughs> I have four blueprints of uh, my base tree and I'm going to try to place them down to kind of get an idea of where the trees might look nice um, and then hopefully we can see on the mini map you know what that definitely needs to come in more well we got trees here I don't know we'll see maybe maybe a little bit further over and back. Let's try that. Does it need to come back some more? So we have, let's look up here. We got tree, tree. We're curving, we're curving. That's not bad. Let's see the entrance. So we come in. Do we want a tree closer to the entrance? Maybe back one and over one? Hmm. I think it depends on whether we want a pathway back here or not. I mean, we could have one. Where would it go, though? Where would it go? It would go nowhere. So I don't know. Well, it would come to whatever we put over here. Thinking maybe a fountain in the corners, but we'll see. So let me just see. Do we want these this close to each other? I kind of like the tree being directly, I'm sorry if I'm making you dizzy, I'm making me dizzy. I kind of like the tree there, only looking at the bushes, we have a gap right here, so it may need to come over a little bit, just a little bit. That we're bringing in, so remember that spot, and then let's try, let's try here. That's weird though, right? Yeah, let's, let's leave it back where it's coming out. It needs to go over one more. Then it will be aligned with the center. And then let's bring this one in just a little bit. All right, let's come in here and see what that looks like. Yeah, I like that. I like that. And I'm gonna come back and tweak all these a little bit like it needs to be rounded. It's not the best shape. So we're going to fix these, but I like fixing them individually. So they're all kind of unique. Okay. I'm going to go mimic this on the other side and then I'm going to build them and I'll be back when we can kind of see what that looks like. And this, I hope it works because this tree's about to get overlapped. Let's do this. Okay. So we're done with that. We added these two trees on all four sides. We have a nice 
little circle forming. Uh, I also went ahead and you see this little strip. I went ahead and connected that back line. So I added this strip here up into and it all connected very nicely. Gave me the other edge of this little tree. So I think what we need to do now is figure out the full plot of land that's around these and how we want to have this back corner. So I'm gonna go map this section out first and I'll come back and see what we have left. So I started working on this side first. I changed all of the green grass into the dead grass for our little pathway. I added this, which was similar to what we did over there. I might add some flowers on top of it as well. Um, but I, I struggled, I struggled. I'm still struggling, but that I cut in. So this side, um, oh, I forgot I even did that. I've been through like eight different variations per side. So eight, that's 16 different variations of things I could try. Um, I had the trees in, I had this as one big area. Now they're separated. Now I had this little thing that's super deep. Um, I had this sunken layer into, um, things that Tam hated, like when I say hated, seriously hated this, dogged it, trashed it, did not appreciate that. Um, she did not dog it and trash it, but yeah, she did not like it. Um, tried water in this. I did like kind of this tear thing, but it just, I don't think it's working. Um, fountains weren't working. Um, it just, there's not that much room and it, it was taking up too much. So Tam wanted a koi pond. I'm not a huge fan of this. I think I might have to redo these. I think this is what I don't like. I like the pattern um, and they're, what they are, they're stairs, which I kind of wanted to use because we use stairs over here. The problem is we use stairs uh, with the stairs up higher and I need it to be a little low or you, it just, Okay, I'll show you real quick. It just doesn't look right when this is fully covered. You just can't quite see into it. So I need to drop it down one, um, but I think the problem is this is just too dark for my liking. So I'm gonna have to find a different block to put at this level um, besides these since that will create a gap. So yeah, so I'll come back and do that. But this is the koi pond. I, it's full of junk. Maybe this is overkill, but whatever. Have some flowers and then it still was looking bare. Um, so I decided to try to pop some trees in. Uh, so I'm thinking about a tree here and here to kind of, you know, looking at the mini map, it would kind of round it off, take some of that free empty space. I mean, the, the corner looks a little bare. Um, I put this back here. I do kind of like this. Um, actually, here, let me show you what it looks like. Ooh, get out of that, get out of that. Show you what it looks like from the capture block. So this is the part I did like. I like having this like green border. I think, you see how bare this is? It does still need some trees. It's gonna pull away from our circle, but I think as long as it's here and here and maybe a third one here, it will still follow that same kind of pattern. So, I think that's where we are. I think I'm not super excited, but I don't hate this. So I think we're gonna work with this. Um, and yeah, so I forgot to mention, the whole thing I was supposed to be mentioning when I cut back in is that I wasn't able to figure out this section. I said I was gonna do this first, then the corner, but I struggled mapping this out not knowing what I was leading to. So we actually had to work backwards. We're gonna work with the corner back that way. So even though I have this sunken hole, I'm about to go get rid of it. And we're gonna mimic that section over here and figure out what to do with the rest of this. So I want to go add another tree on this side like I mentioned. And I think it needs two more trees. Um, oops, zoomed up. The first tree I added created was this one, and I liked it. Like, you come in, there's a tree, and then there is a tree, and there is a tree. But there is this huge gap. So I decided for a second tree, 
Then I spaced them out so they're around this tree. You have this kind of back and forth zigzag pattern till you get over here to the pond. Uh, and I think we need to add a little bit more over there of like uh, green stuff, but like grass or things like that. But let's go ahead and make these real quick. And I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to finish this whole corner. When I have it done, then I'll cut away and mimic that on all four corners. And we'll work from, from there. So let's get this blueprint up and going and hopefully we can have this done shortly okay so we're done with the trees and and I like it um let me check the mini map yeah that's fine like I, I like this whole would it feel I've put in some bushes here um so let's fix this corner to start with um those don't show up that well. Vines seem a bit much. We could bring this forward more and do something like that. I don't know. Let's see. It would be the only place where we remove the stairs though. Not that they're fully working on the inside anyway. Something like that maybe. Yeah, um, this seems like a bit much. So let me bring this back down. Also, let's put our stairs back in, which were here, I believe, uh, stairs. I'm gonna leave that like that. Do we need to bring this in a little bit more so we have more room to work with? Maybe this is only one wide. I mean, this is already pretty thick. This is pretty thick. We could do something like this. I don't know if I like that right there though. This is a weird little corner. Weird little corner. Hmm, what if we do just a little bit more still leading you over there for what what is going to be there i don't i don't want to put a bench i don't want to put anything so it's got to be grass or something i guess we just put a little bit more in the way of flowers over here because we need something bright enough to kind of pop out that works it's a happy little corner now i like that Okay, so now the other thing is we need to swap this out. Um, we have two types of carved stone. We have this and where is it? This one. So this is what we used for all of these um, posts right here. And then this one is the one I used in the corner. So when, that, when I turned it sideways like that. From any corner from both corners rather you would still see an up and down since these uh, ornamental ones have a solid but I'm thinking maybe what did I use inside I used it looks like I used the the same ones for the pillars what if we what if we use these instead it's gonna make a weird little corner but oops kind of like it that now that seems that seems extra that seems real extra what if we do this has a similar problem of being really dark I'm not sure it's gonna work da -da 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 -da. it looks a little I don't like how rough the edges are it makes it even dirtier looking um, like just messy. It's supposed to be a cared for garden. Like uh, some people like this algae kind of overgrown stuff. Uh, what else could we use? Uh, oh, I know we already pulled it down. Let's, let's see. Let's see what this looks like. This might be a winner. It's a lighter stone. It's a very clear tile. Yeah. Well, but it seems... 
you know what? I think this is it. I don't, I don't think we're going to get any better because this is a little a little much. Well, we could try this one. Let's, let's try this pattern. See what that one looks like. Yeah, okay. This is it. I like that pattern. Okay, what else do we need? We need more flowers, more greenery. Uh, flowers around all the little trees. Just kind of sprinkle them about. Add some grass here and there as well. Something like this. Maybe there's a little grass up in there. Go back to the flowers, happy flowers all around. It's a happy garden, happy. And maybe a couple little, maybe the back corner isn't doing so well. A couple little weeds, maybe a weed back here. Uh, some grass. Uh, we need some more flowers. Just gonna sprinkle them around, see what it all looks like. Ooh, and we're out of flowers. So I guess that's that's all our sprinkles for the moment. Um, I like it. It's really looking like a little forest almost. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go get some more uh, flowers and a bit more. I sprinkle a bit more in. Do I want to put any like this? Let's see what it looks like. No, no, I do not because that looks a little untamed. And we're going for a slightly tame look. You know, we're going to let the flowers kind of do their thing off to the side. But there's a clear path down the middle to this area. Ooh, do we need to add a bitch? Maybe that's what we need. Uh, where would the bench go? Maybe it's an L-shaped bench right up in here. I feel like Bob Ross. Maybe there lives a happy little bench right here. Right there? Maybe. Actually, L-shaped. That's going to be a solid block. Work with me. I, I honestly can turn blocks better than this. Do I have a solid block? I do. All right. Let's do this, and this, and this, and this. All right, so what are, you, what are you seeing when you sit here? That's not bad, although the center should be, the center should be this one. Hmm, should I move this over one? Let's, oops, let's see what it looks like if I move it over one more. Or do I, no, I, I would have to move it over one more. It's gonna say, do I just make it an odd shaped L, but no, it needs to go over. Get out my way. All right, so that's centered. How does it look when you're walking in? I think it's okay, but I think it needs a backbone to it a little bit more now so do we put bushes do we do something like give the give the tree a little backbone to how would that look walking in that's a that's a bit much And it really, it needs to be behind the bench and not here then. So all this would come out. That separates the tree kind of from it. A little bit. Just a little bit. All right, let's back up and look. You don't know what's back there now. <gasps> There's a bench. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'll keep it for now. Um. I think we're almost done. I think it's almost ready for me to copy it to all the other corners. Just, I don't even know if we need more flowers. I think it's not too bad. Maybe, maybe a little here and we do need some here. So I'll go get some more flowers. But I think I'm gonna try to blueprint this sucker, this whole corner and um, get it everywhere else. I'll be back once that's done. Okay guys, we are finally done. That took forever, um, but, 
yeah look at this I like it so this is what it looks like uh, in the capture block top down a little um, I think it still has a nice curve even with these additional trees and uh, I think the corners came out okay this is kind of the aerial view let's go check it out for real so we have our swan uh, and then if you <laughs> don't walk over the top of the bushes you can come this way into this little seating area that we did first sorry about the lag I think I have too many things running uh, you can come up here you can go into this little seating area or you can come this way and go into our little forest into Tam's little pond into our little seated area so um, the opposite sides this and the one over there are just alike as far as flowers and plants and then these and this one right here in that corner over there have the same you see it's a little bit less over here so before I put this blueprint up I think I'm gonna go around and do that touch up to the trees that I said I've been doing I was gonna do for like the last three episodes but I'm gonna finally do that and just come around and touch up everything as far as plants and flowers and make sure the capture block is as clean as possible no extra bricks and yeah I think we're done so guys I hope you enjoyed this build series of our swan park it took a little while but we are done if you have suggestions for what to do next please let us know we will have another build out coming soon uh, the haunted house so that will be cool we might have some guest stars in that video and oh for this again it this swan park will be out soon and I will send out a tweet when it is ready for blueprint to get from the workshop uh, so if you're not following us on Twitter please do so now go find us two gaming girls on Twitter take care guys